Hi there, Leila here. So today we're going to check out these killer websites that will improve your daily workflow. For example, a site that's going to help you with your writing, especially when you can't find the right words. Another one that's going to save you from viruses, especially those that creep in through email. So grab a coffee, sit back and get ready to discover some seriously useful websites that are going to make your work life easier, safer and more fun. The first one is called Jotty's Malware Scan. It's a free service, it's been around for almost two decades, and it lets you scan suspicious files with all of these different antivirus programs. So let's say someone sends you a message with an attachment, which you immediately want to click on, but then you remember all of those horror stories about malware and identity theft, and you want to make sure it's safe. You don't open the attachment. Instead, this is what you do first. You simply drag the file. Yeah, you can do it directly from your email, and you upload it to Jotty. You can upload up to five files at the same time, but there's a 250 megabyte limit per file. Then Jotty is going to run the file through 14 different scanners and you're going to get the results here. So this file seems fine, but obviously you're not going to get 100% guarantee that it's safe to open. You'll have to judge for yourself depending on whether you know or you trust the sender. One thing I really like is that it has multiple programs that it scans your content through. For example, I'm pretty sure this attachment isn't safe. When I drop it in Jotty, only three scanners reported malware. The other ones found nothing. Usually you just have one of these antivirus programs installed on your computer. With Jotty, you get to run your file through all of these different programs and scanners so that you can get a better picture and more peace of mind. A note on privacy. You are uploading a file to the cloud and Jotty is going to store the files that you're sending it for scanning and they may share these with anti-malware companies just to help them improve their products. So keep this in mind and don't upload sensitive files that you don't want others to see. Other than that, it's a great service. Next up is a website called Print Friendly. What? Wow! For accounting, a brand new printer. Here you get to optimize any website for print and PDF format. For example, let's say you want to create a PDF with the content of this website. If you just print it like this, there is going to be lots of these empty spaces here and there, and then you get these placeholders in between. It's not pleasant to read. With Print Friendly, you can fix that. You simply paste the URL of the website that you want to print in this box, and it's going to convert and compress it. Look at this, it looks so much better already. Another great thing is that you can delete the sections you don't need. So let's say we don't need this second picture here. We just simply hover over it and click to delete. If you don't need these specific instructions on the bottom, just hover and delete. When you're done, you can choose to either print the page or create a PDF, or you can email the page. Very convenient. Next website is called Blush. Sometimes you need an image or an illustration to get your message across. Maybe you're doing a presentation for your team or you're putting up an image on your website or for your marketing material. There are plenty of websites with stock images out there, but these images aren't customizable. You can't easily change the components inside the image or the illustration. Blush is different. With Blush, you first get to select from a variety of existing illustrations from artists and designers worldwide. And then you can customize them. You can mix and match the background, the clothes, facial impressions, and pretty much anything else around the illustration to create the perfect image for you. Then you just have to simply download it and use it in your work. The basic plan with low resolution PNGs is free. With the pro plan, you get high resolution images as well as SVG vectors, and you get to access a lot more illustrations and collections. For more professional users, there's a plugin for Figma and Sketch. But even as a complete beginner like me, the designer on the website is super easy to use. If your creative work requires stock footage, you need to check out Mixkit. Mixkit is a free online resource for high quality stock videos, music, and sound effects. Their content is also regularly updated, which makes it a great source for anyone who wants to add professional visuals or audio to their work. You can search for specific categories like video, music, sound effects, and so on. Let's say you're looking for a video with happy office workers. 
you get this nice selection and some of the footage is even available in 4K. But notice the banner up here promoting Envato Elements. Mixkit is a product of Envato, which is a global online marketplace for digital products. We're using Envato ourselves and we're super happy with their content, but Envato is a paid service with a much larger selection. So the footage you see on top isn't available for free, it's an upsell to the paid Envato products. But even the free library on Mixkit is already pretty extensive and you can find a lot of fun content. Look at this cat video. To download it, you just have to click the video format and click the download button here. You don't even need to sign up for anything, which is really convenient. Now let's talk about licensing. For each asset, you'll see what type of licensing it comes with. Like this one can be used for personal and commercial purposes, but there are other types of licensing and they do have some restrictions. It's all very straightforward, but just something you need to keep in mind. Another great website, especially when you're dealing with images, is called AI Image Enlarger. It's an online tool that uses artificial intelligence to enhance and upscale your images. I'm sure you've had cases where an image you want to use was blurry or it was pixelated or the size was just too small. With this tool, you can fix that. Let's try this image where my face is out of focus. You can just drag and drop it here and click on start. Then it will upload and process the image. When it's done, click on download. Here are both pictures side by side. Pretty amazing, right? You can also use it to increase the resolution of a picture. Generally, when you have a small image like this one, you can't just stretch it to make it bigger because it's gonna get pixelated. The enlarger is gonna do it properly. Let's upload the picture again and process it online. I'll go with 400% increase. Once it's done, we can download it. Here's the comparison. On the left is the original size and here is the bigger version. It does a pretty good job, I think. Image Enlarger has a trial version, but some functionalities will be restricted until you upgrade to a paid plan. Next up is Quillbot. Quillbot is a writing tool that helps you to paraphrase, reword, or summarize your text. It uses AI to analyze the context and the structure of your text, and then fine tunes the language so that it's logical and it's well organized and free of errors. Let's try it out. So let's say I'm writing an article about why businesses should implement dashboards, and I'm struggling to properly phrase the first paragraph. I'm just gonna copy it and paste it in the box here and then click on paraphrase. On the right, it will suggest the improved version of the text and color code the changes. Orange are changed words and the yellow underline indicates structural changes. You can rephrase specific words. For example, we can change is well resumed to is detailed in. You also get the option to change the mode. So for example, the fluency mode has a different phrasing of the paragraph. You have other modes as well, but those are behind a paywall. In addition to paraphrasing, Quillbot also offers other features, including a grammar check, a plagiarism checker, and a content summarizer. So for instance, you just paste some article inside here and Quillbot will condense it for you. There are two options available summarizing with key sentences or paragraphs where it will create a unique paragraph summarizing your content. You can increase or decrease the length with this slider. This free tool can help you with your writing. Of course, there's also a premium plan available with more features and faster processing speed. Talking about faster processing speed, I have a bonus website for you. It's called Excel Plus, and it's a game changer for anyone who works with Excel and Power BI. You'll find lots of free tutorials on there that will teach you new automation skills to get your work done faster. Okay, so full disclosure, Excel Plus is my own website. What I'm really proud of is the success of our thousands of members who are crushing it at work. I'm super impressed by their dedication to learning, but also taking the time and implementing what they learned at their work. All right, so these are my recommended websites that you can use as a part of your daily workflow. By the way, none of these websites sponsored this video. This list was created by myself and my team. If you have any other websites that you can recommend, 
please comment below. I'd love to hear about them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give it a like and I'm going to catch you in the next video. Thank you.